I'm Isaac Bouchard here in Sweden with the Auto Line Daily Crew. One of the really cool things about coming to Europe, even a small town like Trollheden, when your car guy is seeing all these great cars that you've only read about, seeing them in the metal. Let's take a look around. This is kind of mainstream Europe in terms of size and what people buy over here. This is a VW Polo. It sits below the Gulf in the range. We never see them in America because they want an upmarket image, but this is pretty much what they sell over here. Behind it sits another car that's part of the VW empire. Skoda was an Eastern European brand that was a nobody until Volkswagen bought it. Underneath, it's exactly the same car as that Polo, but they sell a different body, just like General Motors used to do, where they'd have five or six different brands that were the same underneath. Volkswagen's just a little bit better about it. Over here to our left is an Opel VX220. It's basically a turbocharged Lotus Elisa built by Lotus for General Motors. Yeah. So Mercedes, upmarket brand in America. In Europe, it's kind of the same thing, but their range is much broader. They've tried to protect their image by not bringing everything to America that they make, but here's where it begins. The Mercedes A-Class. It's probably a 1.5 liter with 80 horsepower. Probably cost the equivalent of $20,000 US. Personally, I think it's a really cool little city car. In fact, I'd much rather drive that than a smart. It's got a big panoramic, panoramic moonroof and it's got cool wheels on it and it's got tons of interior space. It's got this sandwich floor plan that in the event of an accident, the engine slides underneath the body to protect the occupants so Mercedes can keep the car as safe as all their bigger products. But it's so expensive to produce this floor plan that the next generation A-Class that they might import to America won't have that sophisticated sandwich floor. And here's another one. Caddy obviously means different things to different people. I don't even know what Volkswagen this was when they started. Maybe it was a Passat, maybe it was a Golf. Now it's something that somebody can live in. Everything is smaller in Europe, even the vans. This is a full-size passenger van. We're used to those giant Ford E350s that'll hold 15 people. They don't work very well over here. This is your solution, Renault Traffic Master. French company Peugeot was known for building some of the most dynamically adept cars in the world. Cars like the 205 GTI, the 306. This isn't even a hot hatch version. This is just their normal car, run-of-the-mill hatch, but it's got better driving dynamics than almost anything you can buy from anybody. Its styling was clean and simple. They've really lost the plot. Everything they make now looks like it came from somewhere deep in the ocean where there's no light. I've always wondered what the Renault Twingo was like in person. This was a very cutting-edge car 15 years ago. The design director of Renault, Patrick Le Clement, is really, really radical. Inside and out, he wanted a fun city car. Like, all the buttons and dials are like Fisher-Price toys. They're neon green, they came in other colors. It was just a fun, cheap car for people who needed something to get around in but didn't have much money, but didn't want to drive some old second-hand jalopy. Here's another one we won't be seeing anytime soon. Audi A3 convertible. Taxes are much higher in Europe. Cars are much more expensive. People have less disposable income. So here's your solution. Another popular trend in Europe is debadging your car. It doesn't tell you what it is. I know it's an A3, but we have no idea what engine it's got in it. People frequently don't want you to know. Oftentimes, because it's a big, powerful looking car with some tiny little diesel engine in it. America, this is the past. But thanks to the new fuel economy regs that have just gone into effect, our future looks a lot more like this Citroen C4. And if we're all going to have to drive small cars like this, hopefully they'll be this cool looking. <laughs>